Okay, so we're here down on the street, finally. We are in Guangdong, Lee is from Guangxi. So these are similar in many ways, definitely in terms of weather. Some of the languages, a lot of the culture, but when you're walking on the street, if you don't know any of that stuff, you just walk down the street, the feeling is just like this. You have kind of some fog, you have kind of like a ceiling of clouds up above you, which kind of gives the light this certain quality that you will recognize from southern China. Then when you're talking about the development of the streets, you have all different types of traffic all moving around you. You have quiet, even though you are amidst a city of maybe half a million people. It is so quiet because there are so many bicycles, so many electric vehicles. You can really pick out when you actually hear a motor or an engine, and I love that. Always appreciate that about China. I've brought my bicycle, so I've ridden through scenes, situations like this so often, and especially in the morning when you're building up a hunger and you want some street food, the smells start to come out as the shops start to open. You have baozi, you have dumplings, you have the xiaolongbao, but today we are going for more specific foods to this region. I'm very happy to have Xiao Ran. She's gonna take us for some flavors that you gotta have when you visit Guangdong. So Li and I are tourists today in Guangdong province, and we're, we're very excited. I hope you are having a great day as well. Street food is close at hand. See you over there. <laughs> okay, so the front workstation is right here. She turns on this case, this container she has. She's steaming noodles, but she's also gonna steam, yeah, the pork mixture. It's a noodle flour, but it is not a bowl of noodles. So this cabinet she has next to her, it is a custom cabinet. You see, she's steaming just this. It's like a drawer, but she puts the noodle flour in it. So fun is flour. I just love how freestyle she is with this. Okay, so we ordered one with egg and pork, and then one with just eggs. Oh man. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Oh, I love China. I love China. <laughs> Oh, I did not see that move coming. That was so great. She takes it out and then just, she uses like a paint scraper, just one, two, three, scrapes it onto a plate. So it is a noodle dish, but actually, I don't know, you would not call that, would you call that a noodle? I don't know. Yeah, we got one dish of this tang fun, which is just in Zhuhai or in Guangdong. Okay, Guangdong food, that's it. They do provide a uh, drink. You can have free hot water over there. That's what that machine is. But you gotta bring your own container, I guess. Uh, you can buy drinks here, you can buy beer. What time would they start making this? Mm, okay. So you can have this as early as 7 a.m. and I'll give you a, a shot of the outside afterwards. Let's get to the first dish of the day. So, chang is like a roll. Fun, again, is that noodle. Oh, sorry, intestines. So, because it looks like intestines, that's why. Okay, so it really does mean intestines. So, this is the egg only. We've got two eggs in here. And then she ladled over it. It's so clean, it's so, yeah, just, just wonderful. I think this one is just egg though, right? Or is there pork? Ah, okay. So the, again, the flavor down here in the south can be just so clean, just focusing on the, the original ingredients, I guess. So the noodle, the noodle is more about the texture than the flavor. It's very plain, simple, but I love that jiang yo addition. Yeah, it's so warm. This is a great way to start the day, for sure. Okay, the next bite, let's get some of those chilies, some of the garlic, but you're right. If I hadn't watched her make it, you could, you could trick me into thinking that was intestines fried with eggs. That combo is awesome. That bite got some more eggs and some of the chives, but that's it, I've tasted all the ingredients just a wonderfully budget-friendly way to start your day in Zhuhai. Zhuhai, Zhuhai, Zhuhai. Mm. 
Actually, that's so good. The top was more noodles. Now I'm down into the minced pork. I love that tray. I just love when she did that move. I was not expecting that. That's so good. Mmm. How cheers, yes, yeah. Mmm. Lee, switch me. I'm gonna eat it all. How cheers, how cheers. You like to eat hot sauce? Yeah, I like hot sauce. Now I eat hot sauce. Is this dish very common for Zhuhai? Yeah, for breakfast, right? Guangdong Chang Fen. No. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's very popular. 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 Being used as the staple for everything, but it comes in many different forms. So this, this is chang fen, but it's talking about that rice flour at the base of the recipe. So sometimes, like this, you can see it's steamed, can be rolled up, wrapped around. It's not really sturdy enough that you can hand hold it. It's so cool. Rice rules down here, but also <laughs> minced pork and fried pork also rule. Okay, Lee is very happy. That is coming. Sarad, yes, this is great. So good, so cool. It's so unique. I love that style with that and then onto the plate. So cool. The uniqueness is super cool. The flavor really is great. That's a great breakfast. That is classic Chinese style. But I love the environment and I specifically love, my favorite part is her cooking contraption. I love the three drawers. I love it. Man. Okay, second dish and I know already. I love the sour spicy. And then the clean, the clean flavors. I'm gonna go for one more of those. It is that Southern Chinese combo, the sour, spicy, also garlic, but it's the sour, spicy, and then salty. Chang fu. Mm. Mm. Could I call this an egg roll up? Or an egg noodle roll-up in English, but there's no there's no intestines. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I said at first how simple it is. Yeah, but good luck ever making this at home. It is all about that contraption. She she has it where she can make this, depending on your order, two or three minutes tops. Hmm. But that's the beauty of street food, right? You want this dish, you know your spot, you come out, you have it for, you know, one or two dollars, and then you're on your way. You go to work. Wow. The beauty of street food, especially in China. Mm. Oh, man. Thank <laughs> I love this. I love how much street food there is around here and we are gonna eat a lot of it today. But next up, actually right here, 
To start work on our digestion, we're gonna have a very special thing, also classic Southern China. It's a very weird drink. This is extremely healthy, and they've said the more bitter, the more healthy. But yeah, it is an intense experience you gotta have in Southern China, the cooling tea. But I don't know if there's any tea in it. Let's check it out. And then do you want to try the wu wu uh what is it? Tang Sui Guangdong Tang Sui. Guangdong Tang Wow. So she makes it in the traditional style here using the clay jars, but they're on propane. Wow. Okay, Sarah Ran, I need help. What is this? What is Tang Shui? So in Southern China, these clay vessels with the special top design, this is how they keep things clean. You can make stuff with food, with condiments, you can make alcohol, and it keeps it clean. You see that top design right there? But I didn't know you can actually cook with them. This is so cool. So you see behind me, the way they serve it is exactly like this, but that, um, she's made maybe about 100 servings behind me, but that is how it goes. When I've had this one time before, there were like 12 or 15 and they're covered and it's just a smaller, smaller ordeal. But it's the same, it is an experience. It is a flavor you will never forget. And that's a huge dish. Okay. Liang is cool, cha is tea, but Wow, there's a ton more than just tea. Wow. I forgot that. Wow, so what is the, how do you say in Chinese? How, how cool. How cool. How cool, how. More cool, more. More bitter, more healthy. Wow, that is a huge bowl now that I had that first flavor. That's a huge amount to drink. I have an out, but let me let me try to keep going. Wow, there's no way I can finish all that. That's why the portion in Liu is a little cup. <laughs> remember your sentence. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so look at that. Just look at the color. Ooh, but it is healthy. I mean, that's really intense, really. There's nothing like it. It's uh, maybe half of it, you could say, half the flavor is just like drinking dirt. Also, I've had real hu er tea, which is double fermented black. It's preserved for maybe 20 years. Very similar to that. There's a lot of earth in the flavor. Wow, is it bitter. You can also kind of get the flavor if you were just ripping leaves off a tree and just chomping them. There are so many tannins. It's just incredibly bitter. Okay, so I said I have an out, right? I didn't know what this is, but I imagine it's something sweet. So it's actually orange skin. This they made of meat. Ah, so it's the whole orange and it's just been sliced, diced, and sweetened for when you can't handle any more liang cha. Mm. The first time that I want a food to be more sweet than anything else. Yeah, that does help a lot. If you already hot inside, you will feel bitter. If you don't wow. feel hot inside, it's not that bitter. Okay. This is something that is beautiful. I, I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but the idea of yin and yang, did I pronounce those right? Yeah, yin yang. So next up, another thing from the look of which I'm just so immediately intrigued. Qing Gu Liang. Qing Gu Liang. Qing Gu Liang, sorry. It means something like uh, adding some cool stuff inside. This Liang, 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 cooling. I see coconuts. I thought at first it was bird's nest, but no, it's a mushroom. It's a fungus. This thing, huge fungus. You see that clear 
clear thing kind of floating on top. Also some barley and then hong jiao, Chinese dates. Finally, go tea, wolfberries, native to China. This thing, I know the look of it. I love eating it wherever you go in the Chinese influenced world. I love stuff like this. You can find it for breakfast or a late night snack in so many places. That's a gigantic chunk of the mushroom. Can I handle that? First bite? <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> okay, going for it. Mm. <laughs> Love the texture of stuff like that for sure. It is cool, super cool. I mean, might even have been ice in there. Okay, it is syrup, it is very sweet. So I'm pouring off that liquid. I love Chinese dates. I even eat those on bike rides sometimes. Wow, and then the barley, the coconut, right? Coconut flesh. So Southern China is quite tropical. It's cooler than Thailand, but it's, it's very warm, super humid. So you can grow a lot of tropical stuff down here. Bananas grow down here, papaya. Mm. Mm. Okay, so next up, this super thick grass jelly. Guilin Gao So Kui is turtle. I don't know the origin of this dish, but it's from southern China. I do not know how to make this, but it's also super healthy. I've had this before, but never like this. Never such a huge serving size either. So on top, there is sweetened milk, because this thing, again, just with the cooling ingredients over there, this thing is not, uh, not that gentle, not that easy. <laughs> Completely unique. My, <laughs> my limited powers of description are at their end with a dish like this. The texture is incredible. By incredible, I truly mean nothing like it. It is at first chewy and you think it's not gonna give and then when it does give, just like you saw with my spoon, check this out, and then when it does give, uh, you might think of like a spoon as your teeth, right? So you push, you bite down, and then when it does give, it goes and it's like jello inside. Okay, and then because the outside is being coated by that sweet milk, uh, it takes a few seconds for you to realize that the inside is really bitter. Just like that, the same flavor, the same, probably the same ingredients go into making it, but uh, it's served cold. You might think, oh, this is a nice dessert, until that bitterness kicks in, and then you're just like, what a weird, what is this, man? Mm. This dish, well, something, well, a dessert version of this dish has made it pretty much all over Southeast Asia. You can have grass jelly as a sweet, as a dessert. You can even has, have it as a topping with the soft uh, bean curd. All over Southeast Asia, but to come here and have the original is such a treat. Even though I won't say I love this flavor, it is so fun and it is so classic from Southern China. You gotta look out for something like Gui, Gui Lin Gao. Well, will you tell me, tell me how close this flavor resembles when you have it at home. Oh, she even smiles after that. Oh man, okay. She said you can now use spoon one spoon, one spoon, one spoon, one spoon, one spoon, you can like this. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. I should have done that. Okay. Oh, yeah, so one spoon, you just like try Yeah, yeah. This green and gold is the best. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm. I guess for bitter stuff, I am outclassed by these ladies. They can handle the bitter flavors, I cannot. 
Because whenever you don't feel good, mom said, 喝凉茶。喝凉茶。Whenever you don't feel good, then they will say,、mm. go, go to buy 凉茶。A good thing, original from Guangdong, best. 配点零食吃。哇，兄弟，买一包回来。你快忘记橙皮是什么，不然会掉的。这像是那种金桔的皮，是吗？还应该是，我感觉应该是会的。哦，桂林糕真的好吃。那把这个凉茶喝了，还在喝。这个也，让他多喝点吧。上火你再喝一碗吧。再再喝一口，喝一碗吧。再喝一碗，我觉得会嘎了。一口喝进去。广东的凉茶店真的。绝了！而且满大街都是这个味。哇，广广东凉茶真的好好，这个更好喝。嗯，但我觉得有点甜，那个东西。他放了那个炼乳。Now she's just showing off, but also she said this is how you gotta do it, Joel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can finish. 一个碗，七元。不行不行，我刚才想闷了，还帮是，不不行不行不行。那你吃点那个。The old skin, I say wrong. I don't have any old skin, fast skin. Oh, only skin. The orange is only the orange skin, no meat. 这来金桔，哎，我金桔应该做不了吧？橘子我觉得就是了，就是这个橘子。哦，嗯嗯，这个好。哦，所以你 love the 桂林糕。My favorite. So I always thought it was、uh, grass jelly from the town of Guilin, which is a very famous town in Guangxi Province. But no, this is Guilin. Sounds similar, Guilin. Yep. This is Guilin. So what about the ghost? Guilin. Guilin. Yin er. Guilin. 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 Mm. Still wood ear. <laughs> oh, okay. So the wood ear fungus is one that's quite common in cooking, but then the silver ear fungus, I guess, I don't actually know the real name of this one. Just translating from Chinese, the silver ear fungus is in more like sweets and snacks like this. <laughs> 好吃吗<笑> ？But she is getting a lot of compliments. All the other people that have drunk this here while we have been here have have, have said, "Oh, 好喝，好喝，好苦，好喝。” <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. thank you. Oh, I smell. Lee, Lee, do you want your duck neck? I saw your shop. La Pan, ni hao, ni hao. Okay. Okay. So she said, "Oh, how much do you want? I'll cut that much." And we said, "Oh, ten." She said, "Oh, that's a lot. I don't think you can finish." Like so. Okay, five. Five. So, wu, kuai tian. So the money is renminbi, but kuai is like a quick word. Usually, I buy two renminbi. Oh, okay. I just love the look of the front. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love the look of the front of the shop. Just so many, just fried dough, fried stuff. I love the look. What is that? Oh, it is liangpi. Ah. In in Huaping, what was the dish that Li Xu took us to? Er Kuai. That's right. Man, there's just so much cool stuff. Love the street food in China for sure, and we're not even in a big city. You know, this is this is the countryside, as people here would say. <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> people, schools, development, roads, and street food as far as the eye can see. So this one I've never had. Served in a bag. 
She has pre-flavored it with sesame, chonghua, and la jiao. La uh, gan la jiao. Oh, she just made up a sauce. Okay, so, and then garnished with white sesame. It's crispy. It's just dough. It's gonna be rice batter, just like Lee makes me some dishes at home, but this is the, the real one because it's street side. You got the full vibe going with it. Hmm. Hmm. Tomato. Right? It's gotta be tomato. That is a perfect snack. That is great. Mm. Yeah, breakfast snack. You could have it for the bus, for the train. Yeah, it's great. The top layer, it's fried, so the top layer is crunchy. And then it has like three or four layers underneath. I can see. <laughs> I love the mixed traffic. But yeah, so many things are electric or human powered, so you can't hear them. So you do really have to watch out. Wow. So this is more like a fresh ingredient stuff. Over here, the vegetables, there are a few things I absolutely do not know. And then tons of fruits that I do know, including uh, loquat. You said the fruit, pink. That's the fruit that... Pipa. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. That is addictive. So the sauce has a bit of tomato, also bean paste. Okay. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> Sharon is cracking up at Lee's translation. Yes. This is a Oh. Everything you have to be alive or else you don't Mmm. Oh, they're frogs. Oh, yeah. eels, frogs, snails, eels. tons of eels. Yeah. And everything, Guangdong, they have to be fresh, maximum fresh. I mean, the whole China almost, but Guangdong yeah. is the maximum. Everything you need to be like a lot. Wow. Okay. So I ate these as a kid in Kenya, but they were nothing like this in terms of size, in terms of sweetness. So I know the name is Loquat, but in Southern China, actually they are an awesome thing you gotta look out for. So you can buy it on the, on the stem like that. They're just showing you a lot of the fruit sellers, even a lot of the meat, a lot of the food. It's all about the freshness. And if you notice in the market that we just passed, uh, all the seafood, all of the creatures, I can't even say seafood, because frogs, eels, snails, clams, all of it is included. It's all about the freshness, and so they prove to you that it is fresh because it's still alive at the market. So even if it's a small market, they only have four or five containers, it's all gonna be alive, or like this, it's still on the branch. So they're using it as an advertisement, obviously it doesn't grow on the tree covered in nice plastic like this. But this is very high value. It's a very special one. See, they wrap every single one. So the price is not cheap, but I really want to try this. You cannot find this fruit in Thailand. Pipa, Lee always tells me about this. And finally, we are visiting China at a time when it's in season. So we're going to try some of these. One thing I was looking for chestnuts are well known but also walnuts grow here ah so he said we can try some right here yes to open you can you get another walnut and then crush it together to open the one then i might have done that too hard if you don't break it it looks like a brain and so chinese think that eating it makes your brain more healthy Make you smart. Or makes you smarter, sorry. That's another way to say it. <laughs> so you can eat raw. They're all raw. The ones I buy are roasted, raw. I think. Raw. 